What's up? What's up? Cesar Media here. Today I'm gonna be finally installing the correct size tires on my Dodge Ram. <laughs> I just got back from this car tire. I dismounted the 285 75 17, which is basically about 33 inch in height, and I got instead a 35 by 12.5 by 17 BF Goodrich KO2s. Now, these are the same tires I had on my Toyota Tacoma, and I know that I like these KO2s. It's gonna perform great, and it's gonna perform better than the Geolanders in snow as well. So, I'm looking forward to installing these on my truck. This is what my office looks like right now. I'm going snowboarding in Vancouver, Canada. So it's a little bit of a mess, just preparing everything for the trip. I have my LEDs that's gonna be installed on my truck. More on that to come later. Yes, the light bar is not the only LEDs I'm installing on the truck. I got additional LEDs getting installed. I'm just gonna rice it out, you know? That's what I do. Speaking of LEDs, these are one of the LEDs I'm gonna be installing as well, like on the side of the cap, pointing down, and two on each side as well. So I'm doing something different with these. I want it to be functional. I'm gonna be turning it on when I'm loading up my mountain bike at night, or if I'm going snowboarding and I wanna load up the truck at night because it's kinda of dark at night when you're trying to load it up. This is my mountain bike here. But anyways, I'm gonna unload my 35 inch tires and install it. Look how it's squatting right now though. That's a proper truck stance right there. And look how functional this thing is. I love, this is why I love trucks. I put in two sets of 35 inch tires and 33 inch tires. Well, one set of 35 inch tires and one set of 33 inch tires. Just like that in the back. Awesome. So I'm gonna pull these out and show you guys the difference between 33 inch and 35 inch tires real quick. <laughs> So I haven't finished the unloading process, but let me just show you the difference between 35 inch and 33 inch basically. So on the right here is the Yokohama Joe Landers, 285, 75, and 17, and that comes to around 33 inches. And this is 35, 12.5 by 17. And you can see just the difference in aggressiveness. And it's gonna look really good on my truck. I think it's gonna give it that off-road look I'm looking for and it's also a lot wider than the 285 75s as well and it's of course a lot taller when compared to each other so that's that I'm gonna unload everything and mount it on And just for the hell of it, this is what the 35 inch tire looks like when it's on the Evo. <laughs> Look how tall these things are. It's taller than the hood. Yeah, that's ridiculous. So coming over here, that's stock. And that's the 35 inch. When it's right next to each other, you can't really see the difference in height right there. And the stock ones are basically completely shot. The tread is gone. And uh, it's gonna look really nice with these 35 inch tires. Okay guys, the tires are finally installed after the, all the mess of going through installing the Bilstein 5100s to swapping the 33 inch tires with 35 inch to 
almost chopping off my fingers, which looks like this right now with the, with the spring compressor breaking incident. I'm happy with how the truck looks like right now. Check that out. 17 inch tires with 35 inch, I'm sorry, 17 inch rims with 35 inch tires looks awesome. I am so happy I went with the size I went with. And these BF Goodrich KO2s are more aggressive tread than the Geolanders that I had before. So it really gives the truck that off-road Baja look I'm going for. I don't understand why some people install like 20 inch rims on trucks and run like deep dish rims and skinny tires on trucks and lift it like 10 inches to the sky. I think this works better. It looks more functional and it is more functional. I have the Biosteen 5100 so none of that blocks to give the truck a body lift which really you're not gaining any ground clearance for and uh, with the Biosteen 5100 the front raised up about uh, 2 inches on lower settings so now the truck looks nice and even, nice and flat and the uh, rears are the same size, same height with the Biosteen 5100s the Biosteens made the truck feel so much better uh, the ride quality is so much better, response is so much better and that later on the stock ones were completely shot anyways but this is what the truck looks like right now and yeah just so you guys know I'm not done with modifying this truck I got more LED lights to go on the truck and more goodies to go on so yeah keep tuned into this build series let me know how many questions, comments, feedbacks let me know what you guys think about this truck here and if you have a Dodge Ram I also want to know what kind of setups year running so I could check it out you know I'm uh, here to share my uh, knowledge because when I was looking for 35 inch tires and 33 inch tires uh, there were a couple pictures online you know I found a couple threads but none of them are really uh, good information so uh, yeah share the knowledge share the video and let me know if you have any feedback on this actually before I let you guys go this is a new sticker that came in the mail get it dodge dodgy so yeah initially i was thinking that this here when i remove the dodge emblem is gonna have holes in it so i was gonna just cover it up like this and now that there's no holes i was wondering if i want to put it here or if i want to put it down here or if i just want to put it up top by where my caesar media sticker is right here so, yeah just let me know what you guys think where should i put this dodgy sticker you know truck guys are so serious all the time you gotta be tough you gotta put big tires you gotta lift it 10 inches so you know i'm trying to be different i'm gonna do something funny to my truck because i don't give a shit about looking tough <laughs>